Ahoy there, survivors and friends! Captain Jack Shadow here with your latest update to Sea of Thieves. Sorry, it, it's just the timing. I'm, I'm sure it's purely coincidental. Anyway, as you can see, work on vehicles appears to have been all plain sailing on the staging branch this month, as not only can we enjoy the pleasures of flying Chinooks and doing drive-bys with a full carload, but hold on to your Rollocks because we've now also been given boats to flounder around in. They're not fully ship shape and Bristol fashion just yet, but here are your BOAT FACTS. Admins on staging can spawn them with Spawn Rowboat in the console. They can be entered with E and exited with space. There are four seats, with the one nearest the outboard motor being the driver's, so do be sure to get in that one if you want to move anywhere. They are fast and manoeuvrable and have increased buoyancy with velocity, but it is possible to get yourself into sticky situations by either flipping or beaching them. In either case, a new push mechanic has been added to enable able seamen to get back out on the high seas again. It's also possible for one to sink if some Someone with a shooty stick tries to turn it into an ocarina, although they can be repaired with wood and frags if you can find the currently elusive sweet spot and they have 400 health in total. The plan is for them to spawn at lighthouses, lakes and on beaches and they'll probably be about 15 to 20 on an average size server at any given time. You'll need to fill them with low grade to use as despite being called rowboats, oars are not included and they will have storage in the forward compartment. Expect these to be in-game with the next update to main on April. April the 5th. On the subject of vehicles, something else you'll notice is that whereas passengers can do whatever they want, for health and safety reasons, drivers can no longer brandish weaponry whilst behind the wheel. We have a new map! Well, it's the same place, just a different way of visualizing it. You'll notice now that the topography is more detailed, vibrant, and there's a much clearer sense of uppy downiness going on. In addition, there's a new focus button, which centers the map back on your position in case you've forgotten where you are. Now, contrary to popular belief, the idea of eating horse meat doesn't give me nightmares, honestly, but although technically possible in Rust, the issue has been skirted around with ponies up until now giving you meat by another name which, if you ask me, is probably a deliberate move that, just like a cheap lasagna, works on many layers. However, horse meat has now been added, and although the world model is currently the same as deer and the icon is the same as chicken, it contains slightly more calories than either, but provides a little less health just like IKEA meatballs. Over on Happy's Island, the terraforming continues with certain parts of the landscape being leveled and roads going in. There's a new small monument, Outpost B3, which has lots of barrels and a small chance of spawning green crates. And Site A now has sewers, which from this shot you can see stretch from one side of the monument to the other and there's a proper road running through it. Over on the Savas King of the Hill map, loot tables have been updated with chainsaws, fire arrows, nail guns and flamethrowers. There was also a fix for a couple of exploits with flame turrets, such as a method of baiting them without getting hurt, and another whereby they could be placed so they would shoot through walls. And there was yet another forced client and server update in an attempt to fix skins. Yay! Work's in progress now, and a new mountable AI branch is being worked on, designed to help the scientists pilot the Chinook to rad towns and drop off those delicious locked crates full of goodies. We're expecting this event to go live in the next update to Maine on April the 5th. There's more news on the monument puzzles I gave you a sneak peek of last week. Check this one out. It's a garage door puzzle which will require a bit of cooperation, not to mention trust, as one player will have to open the door with the manual override wheel whilst the other one sneaks inside. And although I don't have any more visuals yet, we'll not only be getting new oak trees, but work has also started on American beaches, and I'm informed that this will mean the return of deciduous forests. As I mentioned last week, due to a current exploit with roof blocks, these are being reworked on a separate branch, and I can now confirm how they'll work. The roofs will no longer come complete with their own side panels. Instead, you'll have to build these yourself by placing a normal wall, which in this context will fill that triangle in. If you then place a wall on top, however, the rest of it will appear. Capiche? These aren't live yet, and I can't say what other tweaks or cost adjustments there'll be, but implementation is planned for the next major update. Lastly, do you remember the modular vehicle models that we were shown a few months ago? Well, it really does seem that vehicles are firmly in the development sites at the moment, as this is how they're currently looking. The textures are only temporary, and I don't know if they'll be ready in any way this month, but it does look like there's a drive to get them off of the roadmap and onto the actual roads. It seems from previous states 
statements that there will be a couple of sizes of chassis and a number of different modules to customize them with, engines will be needed and there may be a server limit on these, also please curb your venom when it comes to imagining clans majestically sweeping over the landscape, mowing down all and sundry with extreme prejudice, as it appears that they may have limited off-road usefulness. This is all just supposition of course and there's a lot we still don't know, but stay tuned as I will of course keep you firmly in the loop when I know more. Thank you for watching and do spank those like and subscribe buttons, won't you? Come and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Discord and my Steam group and I shall catch you all soon, but in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio.